Okay, so uh, pretty much finished everything on here. It's left to set the bias, and uh, this was uh, this was we couldn't find a straight, you know, uh, I don't know, straight directions on how to set the bias on this. I mean, they they have a uh, downloadable. Uh, this is the schematic, but the actual bias setting is like for all Kenwoods. And it's a little hard to decipher. Um, you know, again, you know, like, you know, I'm not an electrical engineer. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, it's having you link, uh, hook up to a resistor uh, legs and, uh, you know, uh, take a look at the milliamps. So, it has a list of which model. And as you can see here, 3130. The bias current is going to be 20 milliamps. But the problem is, is when you're taking a reading, you're taking it in, in volt, in millivolts. And so you have to use Ohm's law, and you have to take a look at the schematic. And you can see there's 0.40, uh, 0.47 resistors on, um, for the uh, resistor uh, emitter resistors. Um, so you know that the resistance is 0.47. You know there's 20 milliamps, and when you look at Ohm's law, it's voltage is what we're trying to decipher. It's I equals current and R equal times I equals current times R equals res resistance equals ohm volts. Um, so you do the math: 0.20 or, uh, or 20 milliamps times 0.47 or 47 ohms, and that equals. 0 0.0094 volts or 9.4 millivolts. Um, so you're going to set the left and right bias to 9.4 milliamp millivolts. Excuse me. So you have the ground um, volume all the way down. Um, first of all. Um, and I've had this warming up for about 20 minutes now to bring everything up to temperature. And uh, the uh, output uh, transistors are about 80 degrees, um, or like 81, 82, 83 degrees, all four of them at the same temperature. Um, it's going to be pin 49 is ground, pin 47 is the, uh, uh, the left output bias, and pin 48 is the right output bias. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll be very careful with these. Seven. And if you don't have one of these, good investment. Um, well, um, during my recap and, and re, uh, restoration of this, I replaced the trimmer resistors. Um, and because uh, the old ones are just, you know, they're shot, they're 50 years old. So right now I'm showing 24 millivolts, um, and I'm going to knock that down to 9.4 millivolts. Point two, nine point three. These uh, trimmer resistors that I put in there, uh, these are the Vichet, and uh, they are really nice and sensitive and that's nine point four. Um, I, I've used some other trimmer resistors in previous builds and um, they're good but these are really nice I'm really happy with these I think these will be the new standard and um, they were recommended by somebody on the forum um, all right so that's set for 9.2 let's see if it, 9.3 maybe just another quarter turn on here to just bring it up a little 
9.3, and that's that's pretty stable right there. All right, so that is left bias set. Put it on 48 now. And that one is also 24. There we go. Down and down. Point four, nine point three, nine point two, nine point one. Let's give it another little quarter turn clockwise. Nine point four. That seems to be holding steady. So there you go. And that's uh, how you set bias on KR3130.